For more, we're joined by television host and pop culture expert Andrew Freund. Good to have you here. So Renaissance, of course, is making all the headlines. As Emily mentioned, expected to make $20 million and be on top of the box office perhaps this weekend. There are a few other things coming out like a revenge-filled silent night? What's it, what's this one? Yeah, so this is interesting because it comes from acclaimed director John Woo. This is John Woo's first film in 20 years. Wow. So it's taken him a long time. This film stars, stars Joel Kinnaman. But the cool thing about this is there's no dialogue. So there's no dialogue throughout this entire silent film. Silent Night. Ex right. Hence the title, Joe, <laughs> Silent Night. Um, and there's no dialogue because in the film, uh, he, Joel has an injury to his throat, so he can't talk. Ah. So it's a revenge film based on that big action, epic, what you can expect from John Woo. Huh, that's interesting. I'm intrigued yeah. by that one. All right. So uh, Family Switch, we got Jennifer Aniston, big name, and Helms. This one's on Netflix, right? Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner. <laughs> You're getting your gens confused, Joe. I know it's early I'm in the morning. Sorry, it says everybody. Garner in the prompter. It did. <laughs> can't read it apparently, my goodness. Um, Jennifer Garner. I mean, you know, they're... Both great. They're both Jen, <laughs> comedy actors. Um, it's Jen Garner and Ed Helms. It's like the classic family switch comedy, like a 13 going on 30, like... Um, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Yeah, okay. um, comedy, hijinks and Sue. great for the families on Netflix. All right. Uh, Chuck Lorre and Charlie Sheen. It's fair to say they had a little bit of a falling out. Yeah, they had a little bit of a... Two and a half men days. Yeah. It seems like they buried the hatchet Bookie is a new show, and they're teaming up again? Yeah, so Bookie's coming out on Max, stars Sebastian Maniscalco, who's the, obviously the comedian. He plays an L.A. bookie, and it's one of Laurie's new streaming uh, comedies, and he hasn't had that many streaming comedies, so people are really looking forward to this and also seeing Charlie Sheen back on screen. When's the last time we saw Charlie Sheen? I mean, it's been I don't know. ages. I mean, he's so rich, I don't feel bad for that guy. Like, you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> he did make a lot of money. I don't feel bad for some man. rich guy. I remember when he did those tours, remember? where he just talked for, and I had to go cover one once in like yeah. the Seattle area. It's cringe. It was, yeah, it was it's something. Cringe. So, well, good to see him. All right. <laughs> yeah. Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman, I think I got the names right here, <laughs> yes. uh, this time, May, December. Yeah. What is this one about? Okay, I just watched this last night. Okay. It's really good. It's an awards contender. Julianne Moore basically plays like a Mary Kay Letourneau type character. Okay. Natalie Portman plays an actress who's portraying her in a film. Okay. Oh. And Charles Melton plays the love, in the younger love interest. And Charles Melton actually is getting a lot of Oscar buzz. He just won the Gotham Award for supporting actor. So we're thinking we might see him, you know, come Oscar Day. Is this blatantly Mary Kay Letourneau, or does it feel like it's inspired? By? Inspired okay. by. Inspired by. It's by Todd Haynes, who's an amazing director. Yeah. This film. Uh, just watch it. Just okay. watch it. I don't want to give tell. too much away, right, but right, it's right. really good. I can tell you're excited about it. Yeah. And I get excited already, for movies. They both already have Oscars anyway. So <laughs> yeah. All right. Finally, Paris Hilton's back season two of her reality show. Yeah. Paris in love. What Paris are we is in love. I mean, aren't we happy Paris <laughs> is in love? We're so happy she's in love. And nothing screams Yuletide like Paris Hilton. Um, <laughs> but it's the second season of her show. Um, this, we get to follow her marriage to Carter. And we also get to see her new baby. Joe, are you okay. excited? I to see yes. the new baby. I want to see Paris' new baby. Yes, and but the the funny, the interesting thing about this is her mom Kathy meets the baby for the first time on camera. On cam, well, did but did she or is that? Just... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but it's streaming on Peacock, and we love Peacock, we right, Joe? We do love Joe? Peacock. We do love Peacock. Yeah, anything involving the Hiltons right now in reality television is certainly making. I mean, I do love Paris. Paris, you know. Yeah, Paris, she... I'm in love. <laughs> You're I'm trying love. to give all the Paris You're in love with like, Paris. <laughs> yeah. Very good. A lot to take in, my goodness. And then an award season's coming, so it's just going to keep on going. I'm, right? I'm here, Joe. I'm covering it all. Do you, what are, what's getting the best buzz right now as we head into Oscar season? I mean, we're hearing a lot of buzz about May, December. Yeah. We're hearing huge buzz about the color purple. Danielle, yes. Danielle Brooks. Danielle Brooks, if you're watching, congratulations <laughs> on your Oscar nomination because they, they, she... They as, love a singing role. Oh, uh. my God. But she is Sophia. She steal, yeah. oh, my paper up. That's okay. She steals the film and okay. the music and everything about it is it's very exciting all right very good andrew Freund, thanks so much for joining us this morning we appreciate it. lots to watch that's gonna do it for this hour of morning news now stay with us the news continues right now